Yeah. Exactly. But you know, this is the question coming up. It's the big one. It's my like my favorite question right here. Yeah. Oh no, my yeah. dog might bark. She might bark. <laughs> you know that that's how that's how hype she is about the question, right? <laughs> so yeah. let's talk a bit about mental health versus physical health and how they may not be as different as some may think. What are the yeah. similarities? Yeah. Um, both of them affect us. So that's <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that answer out of you, but I mean, you're right. You're right. Oh, Both man. Of them so that's definitely number one. Um, and, and really, like, I mean, it goes back to that same thing. Like, I feel like you're expecting like a very elaborate response here. No. But, um, well, I'll, I will touch upon something. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. But honestly, they're, they're actually like I can think about the one way that they're different, but aside from that, they're actually very similar in terms of how they impact and, and affect us, right? They impact our relationships, how we function in the world, how we perceive ourselves and the world around us. They have, they impact us in, in every single way. The only way, so I guess I can talk about it in the one way that they're different. The one way that I would say that they're just okay. different is that physical illnesses are a lot easier to recognize than mental illnesses, right? You can suffer for a very long time internally and people don't realize it versus if you have a broken arm, it can be easier to realize. And then also some physical illnesses aren't always the easiest to recognize either. Like I'm just thinking about fatty liver disease, right? That's hard to recognize because you can't really see your liver, right? So so there you go. That's a similarity too, I guess. Even some of them that like, you can't fully recognize unless you do blood tests and blood work, right? Um, but yeah, I really just think that physical illnesses and mental illnesses, they, they impact us, have impact our relationships, how we function in the world. And, and they're very similar. Like what I was going to bring up was the fact that we, we talked about this before, um, yeah. where it's that we need to exercise our mental health and take care of our mental health the same way we do for our physical health. Mm. Like there, if we're, you know, if we're going to be exercising, we're going to be dieting, you know, a lot of people, a lot of times people don't think about their mental health when they're doing these things. This is about, Oh, I want to be physically healthy. You know, I want to be slim or so on and so forth. Right. But it's the yeah. same thing for mental health, the negative self-talk, you know, the, just the disaster thinking or always yeah. thinking about the worst, you know, uh, mm -hmm. not like just lacking positive thinking, mm -hmm. the resiliency mm -hmm. and coping techniques that you're referring to. So of course, nowadays, like we're, we're as we're, we keep repeating here is that finally we are touching upon these subjects. So hopefully it's going to be a future, probably near future, hopefully, where it's just people taking care of their mental health or speaking about their health, mental health will not be frowned upon. Just like yeah. me going to the gym is never frowned upon. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what I just realized? I feel like I, I misread the health for illness. I don't know how I did that, but that's what I did. But um, you're right in that sense. In the same way, like you go to the gym, right? And people have these elaborate plans for their exercise, right? And when they're going to increase their weight and how many reps they're going to do, right? Where are those for our mental health? Right. And, and we for should real. have plans like that for our mental health. Right. Um, and, and monitoring our responses and our emotions and making sure we're progressing in the right direction and we're, we are getting stronger a, as we can, you know, just like we do with our physical health. So. Yeah. No, that's why I had to bring out. I feel like it's a very important subject to touch upon, you know, like we yeah. we need to talk about the fact that one day someone going to see, uh, you know, getting help you know, be a psychiatrist or whoever, we're going to look at that in the same light that we look at someone going to the gym to lose weight, you know, yeah, that, getting that's, a personal trainer. Yeah. yeah, you know, things like that. Exactly. If you want to hear more stories, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like to support more youth by youth led projects. Visit us at youthspeak.ca where you can donate and spread youth mental health awareness. Youth Speak Performance Charity. Speak, inspire, change.